You see any of the Grammys? No, just on um, just on uh, Twitter and stuff like that. About had some T- had some had some great moments. T Swizzle and uh, but we, I do know, we had a dose and a bunch of Indians win a Grammy. We did our very first dose. Yes, our very first dose. Our second dose to win a Grammy, though. Correct. They are Rahman. Yes. Won one before. Yes, right? that is correct. That is correct. And they don't. Then they did a. He was there. You saw the photo of them together. Yeah. And um, very cool. They thanked us. And it was nice. Yeah, it was. They didn't have to do that. No. In the speech, that's no. all they said was, "We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Rick and Corbin." And we just, we just, we know it's true. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, we don't need to have the yeah, praise. Yeah. We yeah. already know how great we are. <laughs> just, no, stop. <laughs> Back to stupid reactions of Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more GC content. Thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. Follow us on account, subscribe, like button. And if you don't understand sarcasm, you don't understand can't us. Yeah, can't can't help you. Uh, <laughs> if you took that seriously in the slightest, I I have some and land. Yep, to, yeah, I have some land to sell you in Florida. Yep. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. And welcome back to Classic Month. It's Classic Month. It's Classic Month where everything is black and white. Uh, yeah. For the most part. Not all the time. Some stuff has been okay. colorized. For the most part. Yeah. Colorized. Yeah. Um, not this one. Yeah. Um, but like no. Mughal Azam. I'm glad. I wouldn't want to watch. Uh, Mughal Azam is one of the rare colorizations I actually liked. I, I typically don't like colorization, the colorization yeah, of black and white. Yeah. Uh, anyways, but uh, today we do a Bengali film from uh, the 1960s. Uh, 60 to be particular, by a little unknown director yep. called Sachajit Ray. Or Rai, if you're a bongo, am I right? It's true. Um, but this is our 100th Sachajit Rai film. I, I don't know what it is, but it's... I think it's probably... If I'm not mistaken, this is our 19th Bengali film, and I think 14 of them are, are Rai. How many does he have? That I don't know. That'd be pretty close. Yeah, I'm not sure how many he has. I don't think he did like multiple a year. Did he, he didn't. He didn't. He doesn't have a huge filmography. It's not in the hundreds. Okay. Uh, anyways, but this one's called the Goddess, or also Devi. Yeah, uh, is how it was on the Criterion Channel, which is how we found it. Um, and which it came, great quality? Yeah, the Criterion Channel. Yeah, that, that's what they do. Great quality. They um they. You're familiar with them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a great uh, system they have, and they've preserved a bunch of such at rise um, work. It was endearing because you could see, not kind of sad, but it was. In, I'm so happy it was preserved because there's some spots where you can see in the frame on the right hand side some of the degradation of the actual film. Yeah. But they they captured it, so yeah, it yeah. looks it looks HD in Any, spots. It's anyways, great. but it. Uh, it didn't just come out. It came out in 1960, so it's going to be 100 cents for review. So if you haven't watched it, uh, please go watch it. On the, in the United States, it's on uh, the Criterion Channel. Uh, if you speak Bengali, I think it's a bunch of other places. The only place I found it with it's probably on Hoi Choi. I think it's on YouTube, but it's not a great quality. So I can't imagine it's not on Hoi Choi. Yeah. So if it is, if it you can find it, go watch it, come back. It's an hour thirty, like most of his films. A lot of his films aren't very long at all. Yeah. Um, please go watch it, come back, because uh, it's going to be a hundred percent spoiler review. Yep. Rick, your initial thoughts of Devi. What a shock. Another Sajajit Rai film that we think is good. <laughs> um, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just, it's, it's what you expect from a, a Sajajit Rai film. Uh, and it is one of those that, I think you can go into any Sajajit Rai film having never seen them, but I love the order in which we've seen his films. Yeah. Because I have an appreciation for what he does in this, the how much he lets just be mm-hmm. silence, thinking, uh, and the story, which it reminded me of so many films. You remember when we went and we saw us, and we came out of the theater, and we all kind of agreed with one another. I don't know who said it first, but we said. The problem with this film is that the people who need to see it the most are never going to understand it and never going to really ever come and watch it. And I really felt like that's part of 
the messaging in this film is mm-hmm. is it's it's the kind of film that is is such it has such symbolism and such a strong message but it's done in such a cinematically intelligent way mm-hmm. that it, most of the people who would watch this and appreciate it would probably be of the same worldview and mindset of Asachi Jit Rai. Yeah. Um, loved it. Yeah. And uh, I saw somebody say that this is his most Hindu influenced film. Um, like that, that has the most Hinduism okay. stuff in it. I mean, which obviously that, that self evident. Obviously. It seems. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, but um, I don't know, man, this might, might be in my top three Asachi Jit Rai films. Um, I liked it a lot. Yeah. Um, it's hard for me to put him in a, it is hard, it's really difficult. I, how do, I really don't know how I would put him in my order of yeah. my, my top. And I might be forgetting 10. some. And I know that like, there's the top three that come to mind are, um, the big city is, is just it's, I agree. brilliant. I adore the big city. Um, I think the, the hero, hero is spectacular and Opu is, is three films yeah. is, is one film to me. Um, this and the stranger the stranger as, as well or probably the, the the top four for me i i could probably go um debate on others maybe that that i'm just forgetting and the um, short film the very first thing oh, we yeah, ever two, saw too yeah um but this one was so unique um because one it was a it was a little stylized it was a little um you didn't know where it was going at first It'll, as well it, yeah so slow it lets just, you kind of like piece it together and find out along with the people in the film of, of what's going on uh, or do you know what's going on? What do you think is going on? Yeah. Uh, are they right? Right. Is she, or is he right? Right. Um, and I like that, that the unweaving of it and, and all that I was like, Oh yeah. And is I think she actually the reincarnation of she, Jesse. She, and, and I think she had maybe a page of dialogue in the whole yeah. film. And that's a uh, Sife's mom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sife's mom. Yep. Great actress, man. She, man, is she good? Yeah, uh, we've seen everything so many we've times. seen her, and so is Sumitra. I mean, we've seen yeah. both of them, um, um, but quite yeah. a, quite a bit now. Her and this man, I, the the framings that Such It Rai gave her um, was so good. She it was just like she had so many shots. I was like, ooh, yeah, that's a. She had like almost evilness at times, oh, innocence. Um, like she, she gave, and I think that obviously that was on purpose. Yes, yeah. um, they're, they're, you're trying to figure out. What is happening? Yeah. Uh, and I loved it. Yeah. I, 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 the unweaving of it was so intriguing to me. And she did a phenomenal job. Might be my favorite performance of hers. And she has like four four pieces of dialogue, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. She doesn't need to speak. Her face says everything. Yeah. It's, it was, yeah. It, she, she, she was so good. She's wonderful. Um, yeah. Her, uh, I basically just talk about her right now. Um, her whole character um, and... We'll talk about the the end and 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 the messaging and everything, obviously, because that's the biggest part of the film. Oh yeah, that is the biggest um, part of the film. But yeah, she she did such a great job because she gave such innocence in the beginning, and then once everything went down and she was just kind of hiding her face, and then you're like, at first you're like, oh, this poor woman, she's been put into this situation of, um, uh. A religious, a religious extremist on a woman that without her consent or, mm-hmm. or even asking or, or that kind of stuff. And then Rye does stuff that is like, wait, is she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is she Debbie? Is she? Because like, like she, or is she like pretending to be Devi? But then obviously her as a human then asks questions like, what if I don't think I am? But what if I am? How do I know? Uh, but I thought her performance of all that was was absolutely brilliant. I believed mm-hmm. it hundred percent. I did too, and I thought the writing contributed to that as well. Because why does the little boy want to hear the story about the witch? Mm. You know, yeah, it does. It it really it it is she as innocent as she appears? But and again, that's her role. It's yeah. not the predominant message of the film. But it makes her a far more interesting character, which is typical of I don't know how much of that is built from Satyajit Rai's screenplay versus how much of it is in the original material he adapted. My suspicion is it's predominant in the in the original material. Yeah, so it's just a well-written short story. Yeah. Um 
and uh, Sumitra also did a, a really good job, uh, as he as he as he does. In <laughs> he must be one of such at Rise Muses. Yeah, he just he loves to use them. Well, like most filmmakers, we talk about it all the time. You work with the same people over and over again because of the level of trust. You develop a second language where you don't even need to say something because the other person knows what they're going to do, and it's why you pair actors up together all the times because the chemistry and the amount of time you're going to spend together. Uh, you just know what you're going to get in the end. And it's very clear the comfort level that these guys have with each other in this film. Yeah. And he he played kind of the uh, the role of the audience in this. Very much. Um, of, yeah. of like coming in, you're like, what are you, are you, are you stupid? Right. Like, no, what right. are, you're, you killed this kid because you, right. all that kind of stuff. Right. And so he was kind of speaking for the audience. Yes. At least. For, yes. Um, <laughs> until the very end. And then that's, uh, <laughs> uh, for debate, uh, like me or maybe not, um, of what's going on there. And, but I thought he, he played that really well. Um, uh, we saw him in the music room, right? That's where we saw him. I believe that's correct. Was he, was it the music room or was it the stranger yeah. as well? It might have been both. He was definitely in the music he room. He was in the music room. I don't know if he was in the stranger. Um, but he did a, a, a very good job. I 100% believed um, him as the kind of overly religious mm -hmm. um, father who influences everybody and um, kind of speaks for the whole family. If mm -hmm. he says something, it goes. Mm -hmm. I thought he did a very good job. I did too, and as did I felt everybody did a good job. I felt the 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 mother of the boy was was also did a solid job, and the 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 messaging obviously yeah. is a story about. I wrote this down. It's, it's it's clearly a story about the absurd contradictions of patriarchal society deifying matriarchs, yet simultaneously defining them and what they can do or can't do, as the guy's happiness grows in obliviousness. To the woman's unhappiness and and the suffocating and blinding power of superstition um it it it's interesting because it does feel very much and i can understand why someone would say it's his most quote unquote hindu, hindu film, film yeah. because that is the subject matter that he's talking about but i i see this as you might have multiple messages no different than most of his films which is an observation of society yeah. As the, through the lens that he sees society mm -hmm. and the things that are troubling to him in society and make no sense according to reason and logic. And why are these things the way they are? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the end definitely. And it, obviously, if you are familiar with the story, maybe you know exactly, but it leads you to believe something more was going on. Like, was she actually a witch, a demon? Um, or was she pushed to the edge? May, yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, and, and it might have been because it, it, it almost felt um, uh, she her look at the end when, when he came in, she was all disheveled, obviously. Yeah, you could tell the minute you looked at her, she's she's like, off. Like um, Vidya at the end of the Oxy. Yes. Bull, bull, like, so I didn't know if it was like playing on that same character. If that's part of the the story, right? And like she's like that person's a deceiver, and I, so I right is in other words, is this who she's always been? Yeah, and she was deceiving everybody. To believe she right, was heavy. or was this who she was pushed to become? Yeah, who knows? I don't know. No, uh, if maybe it's you guys know because it's part of Hindu mythology lore stories. I don't know, um, but <laughs> that was that was when it left it open like that. I was like, oh, I like that. I uh, and yeah. the fact that the kid the kid died. You know, I love it when. There's not happy stories. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was because I was like, oh, is she actually gonna save her? Is she dead? And then was, she died. I was like, oh, yeah. And if, if <laughs> there's, it's very likely there's a lot of stuff in this that we wouldn't get. And even in Drani, I mean, she's seen the film. We didn't watch it together because she's seen the film. But there's it, there's so much about Hinduism and the goddesses and the relationship between Durga and and Kali and Lakshmi and it 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 is. You absolutely could spend a doctoral program of study and barely scratch the surface on the depths of what that all means and the different avatars of different things. And I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that just went I, over our head. And it was even Sachet Rai put it felt like a little horror in there. And he probably could have delved a little more into the horror element of it. Like you could have made this movie with a different edit. A horror, I think. Yeah, you could have made this scary. I don't know how much it would have been divergent yeah, from, from the original the material. Yeah. But I think uh, if you don't know film, um, a film can be changed into six different films in the editing room just by editing. 
um, and, and score. And score, of course. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's it, it's quite fun to actually if you haven't seen stuff on like on YouTube of films that were turned into. I love the trailer for The Shining as a comedy. Oh yeah, that's so good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I love those little elements and. So I think my favorite Rye films are the ones that I feel like are his most out of the box. Um, maybe not this uh, big city because I, um, I don't know the ones out of the box in terms of his. But um, obviously the hero definitely is. And that one's stylized uh, a mm -hmm. lot. This one I feel like is is decently um, mixing genres a little bit. Uh, which I, I, I really appreciated. Uh, it was a really intriguing story. Yeah, to and he's such an interesting filmmaker because as I as I really contemplate his films, he has two strengths that are similar but different. And the strengths are, on the one hand, like the Opu trilogy, it's so it seems so autobiographical for him in terms of his background, his life, his being Bengali, his being Indian, his being where he came from and what he became and just sharing of himself, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, not sharing a view, but just sharing of himself. Yeah. He's a director who does that, but he also is a director who has extremely strong messages he wants to convey with his cinema. And there's a lot of directors who will be very strong on message, but not very transparent with self. Yeah. And then there's the other kind that are very transparent with self, but don't have a particular message for society. And he's the director that has a one-two punch. Yeah. He does both of them with incredible power. Yeah, he does. Um, and I thought, the, um, uh, it, I'm so glad we had a, a heavily restored version. Yeah, me too. It helped. I love the cinematography in this and the, the shot choices. Like some of the close-ups just on her where she was like this. Yeah. And he didn't explain what it meant, but you just saw a glare. And that's why I'm, I, I think she was like a demon or, or or something that was deceiving people into believing she was Devi. Uh, that's my initial, I think, overall. Um, obviously, I think the, the overall messaging is to uh, about I mean, yeah, and all did, that kind of stuff. But I think the, the story itself was actually about. Um, how did how did the mother die that, you know, because remember this guy, he's a, the, 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 the dad is a widow. Mm -hmm. How did. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Did one. she die because of something she did to put herself in this position and that her ultimate goal is because she wants to make sure that, I mean, is she the destroyer? Is she the one who brings death? I think the destroyer is Shiva. Well, there's a couple of them that have that. That, that they're, Well, Durga, for example, does bring war. Oh, okay. So, but yeah. And again, we are beyond, yeah, no, no, we are not even novices yeah. in this regard. And again, that's where I think there's a ton of symbolism and stuff that that those of you who would know this would be able to point out and say, oh yeah, this is that, this is that, you missed that, and appreciate yeah. it when you stupid babies do that. For it was us. cool to see Dirk Puja on the video and the the fireworks and some of the the VFX yeah. that he did and the submersion. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, it was it was really cool to see. Um, shocker, another good yeah. uh, such a rye film. Uh, everything we've ever, you know heard about him from the very beginning, and it's he he is everything. Deserving of the Oscar he got, and and not just Indian, he's one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. Yeah, yeah, without easily. question, without question. Um, anyways, let us know what the next Sachi Rai film should be. Let us know what the next Bengali film as yes, well. Not please. just uh, obviously Sachi Rai. There's there's a hundred Bengali films plus every year. Yeah, we would like to please recommend us some good I, ones. I have no idea if they ever come here. I know, honestly. But there's got to be some from a couple years ago that we could see streaming and we could actually take because we've we've done that. We've yeah, done yeah, that with yeah. a couple films. Oh, I think we watched a few of them last year. We did. Um, but anyways, let us know what the next uh, Bengali film should be. Bengali classic from Rai or others. Yep. Um, please let us know what those should be down below.